Back at y'all with some more boxing news and updates. Judy knows your boy love one that hate one. Let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. All right, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my opinion on this fight. This is no biasness or none of that. I really feel like Canelo Alvarez will stop Terrence Crawford, you guys. No biases, no none of that. You guys know I respect Terrence Crawford. I'm not even mad at Terrence Crawford for wanting to fight Canelo. There's nothing wrong with it. In fact, I respect it. He's testing his greatness, right? But it's something called biting off more than you can chew. And every fighter has that. Okay? For all you guys that think I'm just biased for Canelo, I really feel like what Canelo was talking about fighting Usyk, I thought that Canelo was biting off more than he can chew. Some people can even say Bivol. Okay? Every fighter has their limitation, no matter how great you are. All right? Now, Canelo, I give him a chance against Usyk, especially the Usyk that we've seen that almost... A lot of people got, got stopped by Triple D, Dynamite, right? So, in boxing, anybody has a chance, but the chances of Crawford beating Canelo is very slim. And the only reason I even made this video is because a lot of people out there is giving Crawford a big chance. Matter of fact, some people was acting like Crawford is the favorite going, going into that fight. Listen, at 168, Canelo is, that's his best weight class, okay? We don't even know if Terrence Crawford could beat Jamel Charlo, which Canelo is going to beat in a few weeks, okay? At 168, Canelo has beat fighters that I don't know if Crawford can beat. I don't care what you guys say. I don't know if Crawford beats Caleb Plant, an undefeated Caleb Plant at 168. I don't know if Terrence Crawford beats um, Billy Joe Saunders at 168. Um, Danny Jacobs at 168. Even a damn old Triple G at 168. So, to just skip all those guys and go for the very best. That is mind-boggling to me. Like, it'll be a difference if Terrence Crawford... Fought at 168. Not to mention, Terrence Crawford said, oh, I'm not going way up there to 168. Because Canelo's not going to fight Terrence Crawford at 160. It would be a difference if Terrence Crawford was like, you know, I'm going to go beat these guys at 168. Because if he could beat Canelo, you guys were saying he could beat David Benavides, Jamal Charlo, not Jamel, Jamal and Jamel. Like, it's just a tall order. So, I understand this is boxing. These type of things is good to talk about. But if I'm Canelo, I'm like, come on, you guys are taking it too far now. What Terrence Crawford's not gonna stop Canelo. And you guys think he's just gonna put a put on a boxing clinic against Canelo. That's laughable to me. Terrence Crawford has never faced nobody that hit as hard as Canelo. Facts. He hasn't faced nobody with the counter punching ability of Canelo. I mean what are we saying here? Like I said, Terrence Crawford, very great, talented fighter. We know it. But I'm not, like I told you guys, I'm not counting out Errol Spence in the rematch. And I'm definitely not counting out Terrence Crawford being, I don't even think he can, Terrence Crawford has a whole lot to do before we are even considering a Canelo match. First of all, you got to, Run through everybody at 154 because you say you want to be undefeated at one, not undefeated, you want to be undisputed at 154. So if you really think about this, you guys, really hear me out. Okay? Tim Zhu, I don't give a fuck about what none of you guys say. Eric Lee Lar, Danny Garcia, um, Jamel Charlo, Errol Spence, Jamal Charlo, Benavides. All these guys are tough fights. It's not guaranteed wins for Terrence Crawford. And what's killing me is nobody wasn't even talking about a Terrence Crawford versus Canelo until he beat Errol Spence, who I personally feel like Errol Spence didn't look like Errol Spence to me. You guys have to understand, 
the same shit that you guys are saying tank about tank. If if Terrence Crawford can beat Canelo at 168, Canelo's weight class, then Tank can beat or has a big chance of beating Terrence Crawford at 147. Just like Canelo said. And even if Canelo beats Terrence Crawford, he don't really get no credit. You guys got to understand, you guys don't even give Canelo credit for beating guys in his own weight class. Good fighters, Billy Joe Saunders, Caleb Plant. We all know once he beats Pitfall, he's, they're going to minimize. I'm not going to say, they're not going to give, I'm not going to say they're not going to give Canelo no credit, but they're going to minimize it. But we're supposed to believe y'all going to give, give Canelo credit for being Terrence Crawford, who had to come up multiple weight classes, you guys, not one. You guys, not two. You guys, not three. He's coming up four fucking weight classes to fight Canelo. But you guys are sitting here telling me that, oh, he could just beat Canelo with ease. Get the fuck out of here. First of all, you guys are in 10-ounce gloves at 168. That's more weight on Crawford. Okay. Canelo's good at cutting off the ring, etc. I'm not going to even break that fight down because I don't believe it's going to happen. Unless somebody, like, let's say some billionaire is willing to pay both fighters a hundred million damn near each just to tickle his fucking fancy to see the fight happen. I don't see it. But I'm not mad at Terrence Crawford. Him putting his name in line with Canelo, it raises his stock. Come on, you guys. Us Canelo fans ain't stupid. Like, and a lot of people, y'all have to understand, just because... We're fans of Canelo. I like Canelo. You guys all know that. That don't mean I'm going to be biased. I told you guys, man. Listen. Like, when Canelo was talking about facing Usyk, I'm like, man, I don't know about that one, Canelo. Like, I got you being a lot of guys, but Usyk, especially at that time, you might want to stay away from. The same way I feel about Crawford. You might want to stay away from fucking Canelo. Now, this is a good marketing strategy for Crawford because he got more people talking about him. Every Canelo fan in the world know who the fuck he is now. So it's a good marketing strategy. But let's talk about reality for a hot second. I do not see Terrence Crawford beating Canelo. In fact, I see Terrence Crawford getting stopped. In fact, if Canelo don't stop Crawford, it's like it's a damn near loss. That's why it's like a lose-lose for Canelo. So come on, y'all. Y'all got to stop with the bullshit. That's right. Your boy, love one and hate one is back. That's my thoughts on this shit. I am out.